welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy saturday it's saturday so you know what that means it is grocery haul day i have another big haul for you we needed quite a few things for this week's recipes and what i am doing for my meal prep and i do get a lot of questions on whether or not we use all of the groceries that we buy of course we do both my husband and myself eat all of our meals for the entire week on these groceries breakfast lunch and dinner we don't go out other than once a week so we need all of these things to sustain us through the week and i have a six foot two husband who eats a lot so of course we eat everything that we pick up sometimes i do stock up on meats and things for the freezer but overall we do eat the majority of what we pick up by week's end so this week i hit up three stores and i have quite a large haul for you i'm going to share my meal plan and my meal prep so make sure that you're subscribed and that your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do this grocery haul thing every single Saturday. Give this one a thumbs up if you love grocery hauls and let's jump into this week's big grocery haul. Here is this week's grocery haul. I ended up going to Walmart, Trader Joe's. I actually did a Walmart pickup, Trader Joe's and Target. So I stocked up. We ended up buying quite a few side dish things for the freezer from Trader Joe's. We were totally out and it just makes for a really quick and easy weeknight dinner. I have some great recipes coming out this week. And then of course, breakfast, lunch and dinner for both of us for the entire week. So yes, we go through everything that I'm sharing. So let me jump in to this week's grocery haul. First, there's you. Hi, bud. Are you helping mama on the grocery haul? Yeah, you sure are. So the first thing that I picked up is this small container of whole milk. I actually need this for a couple of recipes and then of whatever is left over, my husband will drink. I stocked up on some dips because I've been really like having veggies and dip, chips and dip. So this is the Kite Hill Dip in French Onion. I love French Onion Dip. This is made with almond milk yogurt. It is dairy free. It's actually really good. I've had the ranch one and it was outstanding. So I am excited to try this low point, good ingredient. So I have that. And then I also picked up the good food, simple ingredient, plant-based queso dip. So this was a little more affordable than the Siete. So I want to try it and compare it and see which one I like better. This is perfect ingredients, kind of like Siete. Siete's great ingredients as well and really, really low in points. So I grabbed that. And then a repeat purchase of the edible brownie batter by Delighted By. I was craving this last week. I have some graham crackers and I thought, how good would the brownie batter be? So I had to pick this up. I prefer this one over the Snickerdoodle, even though they're both really good. I just love the brownie batter. Another pack of the Applegate smoked turkey breast. I just like having this on hand. I generally on Sundays will make some sort of a sandwich. Last week I made a really good meat and cheese roll up with the laughing cow. So I just like to have a good quality, good ingredient lunch meat on hand of course another bag of the trader joe's light shredded cheese i need this for several recipes this next week and it's really just something i pick up every time i go and then quite a bit of cheese for my husband's lunches this week i grabbed the good and gather which is target's brand of the colby jack and then i was pretty excited to see i had never seen this before this is that same brand target's good and gather extra thin mild cheddar so i think each slice of this cheese is one or two points and only 50 calories so this is like the sargento ultra thin but way more affordable this was less than two dollars so i picked that up I did get quite a bit of meat. I saw this at Target and decided to grab it and throw it in my freezer. This is the Fresh and Natural Cage Free Ground Chicken. I have a hard time finding ground chicken. And when I saw this, I thought it would be great just to pop in the fridge or freezer, I should say. And then I needed some tenderloins. I was going to get these at Target, but they didn't have any. So I picked these up at Trader Joe's. They're just two packets of tenderloins because I actually have two recipes this week with chicken tenders. And then from Walmart, as always, just another pack of the 99% extra lean ground turkey. Such a great price. I just like to have this on hand in the freezer. And then I also picked up the three pack, which is such a great deal of the grass fed, grass finished ground beef from Walmart. So this is the 93.7. It's $18 for three pounds, which is really, really good for grass fed, grass finished. So I picked that up. 
some deli roast beef for Troy's lunches for the week. I got the medium cooked instead of the rare because he's not a big fan of rare meat. Pretty good deal for a pound and a half of roast beef. So he'll have this with the Colby Jack cheese for his lunches. Also some string cheese for him. This is just the Walmart brand of the Low Moisture Part Skim Mozzarella Cheese Sticks. Of course, Cleo bars. I have four vanilla and three strawberry. I did pop over to their website yesterday just to check it out, thinking maybe I would order some different flavors, but I pay a dollar per Cleo bar at Walmart, and they were actually almost $2 a bar on their website. So this is just more affordable, and I really like these flavors, and I can get them locally. So I picked those up, and you did have to spend, I think, $50 or $60 for free shipping. So I'm going to stick with my vanilla and my strawberry. I grabbed some salsa at Trader Joe's. This is the organic tomatilla roasted yellow chili salsa. This is mild and I needed salsa for a recipe. I do always buy it organic because tomatoes are on the dirty dozen. So I always look for organic salsa. And then I grabbed some cashew butter because I actually want to try it for one. And two, I have a couple recipes coming up that actually call for the cashew butter. So I picked this up at Trader Joe's. I think it was $7.99, so pretty affordable. Also, at Target, I grabbed their Simply Balanced Organic Three Bean Blend. I was looking for kidney beans, but they didn't have it in organic, so this will work. It's actually for a recipe. This is just a mix of the kidney and the black beans. I think light and dark kidney and black. And then I also picked up some biscuits. I need this for a recipe, and these were the lowest calorie ones, so I grabbed those. And you already know how much I love the Pineapple Good Culture Cottage Cheese Cups, and every Every time I go to Target, I have to get these. So they're about a buck fifty a piece. They're only three points, and they're so good. It's my favorite cottage cheese mixed with pineapple. So delicious. So I actually picked up two of those. Some tomato sauce, just a tiny little can for a recipe, and then also two cans of the cut green beans for the you know ooze, the DOGs. This is what they get when we have dinner. So I restocked my green beans for them. And then a small can of fire roasted diced green chilies, also for a recipe. Walmart was out of the six pack of kombucha. I actually ordered it and then they had substituted with some kombucha of flavors that I don't care for. So I said, no, thank you. And I just picked these up at Target. So I grabbed the Summer Edition Unity Cherry Coconut Lemongrass. This is so good. I love this one. So I actually grabbed three of them. I had one while I was shopping. And then I picked up a couple of the Synergy Gingerberry. This is my very favorite non-seasonal flavor. It is so delicious. My favorite brand, the GT. So I got four bottles, which I have a couple left in the fridge from last week. So I'll be good for the week. And then I also grabbed the Silk Almond Milk Creamer. You guys know that I actually really like this creamer. This is the creme brulee. I've never had this flavor. So I'm excited for that. And then also on coupon was the Fair Life Creamer. So I grabbed the Sweet Cream as well. Just since it was on coupon, it was a really, really good deal. So I picked that up. And then also some pie crusts just because Oh Lord. All right. Pie crust because I need this for an upcoming dinner recipe. And the fallen soldier was my Trader Joe's patio potato chips. I grabbed this because I love them and they are about to go out of season. So I thought I'd pick up another bag and then hiding down here. I was pretty excited about this. This is the Trader Joe's seltzer with a splash. This is the blood orange and orange juice. This sounds so good. And as I've mentioned before, the only seltzer water that I've been able to find without natural flavors is Spindrift. And I really like Spindrift, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I'm excited to try this. Trader Joe's actually had three different flavors. There was a lemon, ginger, and orange, and then I think some type of a berry. So it's pretty affordable and it's only 15 calories. I think it's zero points organic seltzer water so i'm excited to give that a try this week this was a substitution i had actually ordered the great value sourdough bread for troy's lunches and they subbed with this freshness guaranteed sourdough from the bakery this actually looks really really good so i'll be making his sandwiches with that bread this week and tucked under here i just have some of the market pantry flour tortillas for him so he can make quesadillas and things throughout the week and while at Target, of course, I had to pick up my Partake cookies after trying all of the flavors. So the chocolate chip and the cinnamon soft one, 
cookie butter, I think it is. This one is by far my favorite. I love these cookies. They are two smart points a piece. They have great ingredients, so I had to pick up a bag of the birthday cake. The yogurt pretzels for Troy's lunch. You guys know he loves these, so I picked him up another bag. I really like these too. They just don't have the best ingredients and they're really, really high in points. And then I restocked some granola. You know I love the Purely Elizabeth Chocolate Sea Salt and Probiotics. This, I have to say, is my very favorite granola I've ever, ever had. It is pretty clean. There's one ingredient that isn't the best, but overall this is a pretty clean granola. So I grabbed that. I like to put this on my yogurt or just to snack on. And then I've actually never purchased the Good & Gather Organic Granola. I was excited to see that because you do wanna buy your oats organic just because they are heavily sprayed with glycosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. So happy to see that Good & Gather was organic. This is the Honey Almond Granola and this actually has perfect ingredients. So I'm gonna try this. Again, I've never bought this brand, so I'm pretty excited about this granola. Also picked up a bag of the Ener Tyson Anytizers Popcorn Chicken because I like to have chicken on my salad, and sometimes we have salads for dinner, and I have my new chick on the block, and then this is for Troy, so he doesn't have to have that chicken. This popcorn chicken are pretty low in points, actually, and great just to pop on salad or for a quick and easy dinner or lunch. And then we're gonna move up here before we get into produce and take a look at all of the frozen side dishes I grabbed from Trader Joe's. So I grabbed the mushroom risotto. I'm excited for this. I love risotto. So mushrooms are another one of my favorite things. So this sounded really good. This is one we haven't had in a long time. This is the gnocchi a la gorgonzola. This is a little higher in points, but it is so good. It is creamy. It's so good. It is so well worth it. So I picked up only one bag because I really like this one. And then also the asparagus risotto, which I've never had but I've heard is really, really good. And then everything else that I picked up is produce. So some organic whole carrots for a couple of recipes. These are so affordable at Trader Joe's. I just peel and chop them myself. And then I also grabbed some organic cremini mushrooms here. I needed mushrooms for a recipe. Also Brussels sprouts for a recipe. I love Brussels sprouts. And then I picked up some frozen veggies. From Target, I grabbed the Simply Balanced Organic Peas and Carrots for a recipe. And then I grabbed some good veggies at Trader Joe's. The flat green beans, which sound really good. And then I also grabbed the broccoli florets because that's just a great weeknight side dish. And lastly, this is a new one, or I hadn't seen this before. This is the organic for some vegetable melody. So basically it is corn, peas, julienned carrots, and green beans. So these will be some great quick and easy frozen veggie side dishes. I picked up a watermelon at Trader Joe's. I always have good luck with their watermelon. So my fruits for the week are watermelon and the blueberries and also some strawberries because the strawberries have been so good at Trader Joe's. So lots of good, delicious fruit for the week. I needed spinach for a recipe and then whatever is left, I just pop in the freezer for smoothies or have salads. Finally, they had the organic lemons back in stock. I do have quite a few limes for my Imperfect Foods box, but I thought I could do a mixture of lime and lemon water this week. And then I grabbed some fruit for a new smoothie that I wanna try. So this is the organic tropical fruit blend. So this is pineapple, bananas, strawberries, and mango. So I grabbed that from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna pair that with this. And this is brand new. This is the unsweetened acerola, if that's how you pronounce it, puree packet. So all that's in here is the acerola fruit or the, the berry, whatever it is. And it's only 30 calories. So I count it as zero just because it doesn't have any added sugar. So I'm going to throw one of these packets in some of this organic fruit blend with some of the coconut or the vanilla live well protein. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. So I'll definitely show you guys this in an upcoming video, but I picked up that fruit to make that smoothie. So that's it, my friends. Now we have a big mess of groceries to put away. Let me show you what I picked up that was not food and then we'll jump into this week's meal plan and meal prep. Here's a few non-food things that I picked up. So we needed some dish soap and I really like this Everspring brand. This is the Mandarin and Ginger. It smells really good so I grabbed that. Some Unstoppables, they had buy two, get a $5 Target gift card, which made these about $7 a piece, which is really good. I like the Tide scent, so I grabbed that. And then I've actually never had this Lush, but it smells really good, so I picked up both of those. 
paper plates because, you know, convenience. I needed some cotton rounds basically for my toner. I got a toner in my FabFitFun box and I'm loving it. It's just hard to apply with a cotton ball. So I picked up some rounds. And last but not least, some Elka-Seltzer Heartburn and Gas Relief Chews. These were on a great coupon at Target. And you can't go wrong. Nice to have in the medicine cabinet. So that is the non-food items. Now let's look at meal plan and meal prep. All right, so let's jump into this week's meal plan. Of course, this is my Carriel meal planner. You guys know how much I love it. This is what it looks like. Definitely check out the link down below. I don't know if the, they are back on their website, but they also have printables. So I highly recommend. It's just a really easy way to track your meals and plan ahead for the upcoming week. So this is the week of July 20th through July 31st. You guys, the month of July is over already. I can't even believe it. So today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner. It's the day that we support a local business. It's the day I use my extra calories or my weekly. So we always go out for dinner. Sunday, I'm going to be making a Tuscan chicken skillet with veggies. You guys will see this on Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, so stay tuned for that. Monday is a beef and veggie bake. If you haven't noticed a trend, I am trying to up my veggies this week, so we have veggies with every single dinner, of course. And then Tuesday, we'll do leftovers. Tuesday is my clean house day, so I'm usually really tired and exhausted, and I also don't like to dirty up my clean kitchen after I clean the whole house, so we'll do leftovers on Tuesday. Wednesday is chicken pot pie, which I've been kind of craving. I know it's summer, but it sounds really good. So we're going to do chicken pot pie. Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Thursday is a chili pasta skillet. We always like to throw in a pasta dish every week, so we're going to do that. And then Friday, we'll do leftovers because we'll probably have quite a bit from all of these delicious recipes. Now let me show you what is on the plan for Monday's meal prep. So for meal prep, now you guys will be seeing this video on Monday, so stay tuned. I am making a mixed fruit protein oatmeal bake. So I am going to make a delicious oatmeal bake, but we are going to up our protein game and add some delicious protein powder to really give us that little bit of protein and extra gooey cakiness of the protein bake. So stay tuned for that. Lunch, I'm gonna do a cheesy taco meatloaf. I've been wanting tacos and meatloaf, so let's pair them together for lunch. And then I am excited about my snack this week. I'm gonna be doing cranberry rice bars. So all three of these recipes are WW friendly, calorie friendly, clean eating. So stay tuned for Monday's meal prep to see all three of these recipes in action. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. We had quite the haul this week again, my friends. It was a big one. It was actually really fun going to Target. It's one of my favorite places to grocery shop because it's quiet and it's peaceful and they always have new and exciting things. So I'm excited about my new food finds. It was just an overall great shopping trip. I hope you're as excited about this week's meal plan and of course meal prep, which you will be seeing on Monday. So stay tuned for Monday's video. You don't want to miss out on this week's meal prep. It's going to be amazing. Of course, if you're new, again, I'd love for you to stick around. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Check out that description box down below where you're going to find my website, where you'll find all of my recipes, links, and discount codes to my favorite things. And of course, the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you be part of that growing community. It is such a fun place to be. So head on over and join us. Thumbs up this video. If you love grocery hauls, it means a lot to me and helps out my channel. And of course, I hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Happy Saturday. Bye guys. Hey.